Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Fun Stuff Friday and this is the video you have all been waiting for. These are the pastel colored pencils from Astra called Pastello. Um, I don't have the lid on because they're holding another set that we are going to compare them to. So one of the biggest questions is are these a good comparison to the Holbein colored pencils and after the swatch and of course I have done the swatch um, we will compare them head to head color for color and see if they are a good comparison to the Holbein's pastel pencil set. These are 50 pastel colored pencils. They are really really nice but we will see after the swatch of course I have put it to some music so it will just take a few minutes. Uh, I have sped it up. It's only 50 pencils so you won't even have time to get up and grab your coffee. So just sit back, relax, and get ready for the swatch. I will be right back. <music> Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Uh, so I've got the swatch here, and as you can see, all of the colors are very pastel. Um, they're really creamy. Um, I don't know, you know, too much to say about uh, their colors and everything else. They are a very muted color. Um, when I did this part of the swatch, I hadn't sharpened them yet and I sharpened them and they all sharpened beautifully. They did not uh, break or anything else. Now for the part that you're probably all wondering about. Now these are the Pastello. Um, they're the Astra Pastel colored pencil set. They're a 50 color set. Now these are the Holbein colored pencil set. The biggest difference are these pencils right here. 
they are not in the pastel low. These are a neon pencil um, and these six pencils are different in the pastel lows. Now I'm going to put these aside. We are going to color with them in a little bit here but actually first I'm going to do this. So on top of each other I have them all in the exact same order as each other. So other than these last six pencils that are going to be different they are very very close in color on their barrels and everywhere else. So I can line them up and probably not be able to tell the difference between the two just by a quick glance. I would have to actually look up at them very closely to see the differences. Um, there is a difference in the type of wood they used. This, um, the Hobans does have a um, hardier wood. The, the wood isn't as soft. The cores are about the same size and you know they're close to the same smoothness. These are a little bit harder than these. These are really soft. These are soft but they still have a bit of a, a bite to them. They're not going to smush as much as the softer whole veins. And the whole veins aren't smushable in themselves but they have a tendency if you do press too hard to smush them. Alright so let's take a look. Let's put these aside and we're going to take a look at this chart here. Where is it? Uh oh. <laughs> We're going to take a look at this chart. And this is a comparison chart between the Astra and the Holbein. And we're going to come up close and personal. So I'm going to switch you over to the close up camera so that you guys can see if there's any differences. I'm going to actually zoom you in a bit. Let's see. I'm going to zoom you in so that you can get really close. Oh, that is zoomed in. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's as close as you're going to get. So, let's make sure everything's in focus and there we go, that's a little better. Make sure you're getting a good verification of the color and whatnot. Heck, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so we're good. So as you can see with this one here, it's a little bit paler than the whole bane. But it's almost the identical color. It is almost smack dab and that's the cream. The Naples yellow is once again a little bit more muted than the Holbein but otherwise the same color and I'm quite sure if you went over this a, a few more times you could build it up to that color. Um, I used the exact same pressure, the exact same amount of, of movement in both of those. So this one is a little bit more muted than this one. Same with the apricot, but they are almost dead on for color. The salmon, once again, this one here is a little bit more muted. Now the coral is identical. It's exactly the same. The pink is a little more muted. The rose pink is identical. The cosmos is identical. The fuchsia is identical. Mauve, this one's a little more pink. This one's got a little bit more of a purpley gray to it. Um, rose gray, same here. This one's a little more pink than this one. These ones are identical. This one's a little bit more muted. Move my coffee out of the way. Uh, smalt blue, this one here is actually a little bit brighter than this one. And 
again just a smidge mute smidge bit mute compared to the lavender blue in the whole vein but otherwise almost identical I would definitely say that these um, just by looking at and going through them would be a perfect set of um, comparison to your whole vein colors the only difference that I have found so far um, other than the fact that it may take a couple more layers to get the exact same color is that the um, Astras are a little tiny tiny bit harder so you can use a heavier hand on them um, so for the forget-me-not almost identical this Sao Blue is almost dead on. This one's a little bit darker. Sky blue, this one's a little lighter than this one. Aqua, dead on. Porcelain, dead on. Ice green, dead on. Jade, this one's got a little more green in it. This one's got a little more blue in it, but otherwise pretty close. Close enough. Uh, cobalt green, dead on. Lettuce green, dead on. Ivory, dead on. Sand, dead on. Beige, dead on. Flesh, dead on. Uh, Juan Brilliant. This one's a little bit more of a touch of orange or a peach than this one. This one's got a little more yellow in it. Uh, cork, dead on. Peach, this has a little more pink in it than this one, but close enough. I think this one could you probably get up to that color with a couple more layers. Uh, shell pink dead on. Uh, Ash rose. This has a little tiny bit more gray in it than this. This has more pink. But like I said, little slight differences. Cherry blossom dead on. Uh, sea fog dead on. Lilac dead on. Smoke blue. This is a little bit more gray. This has a touch more blue in it. Uh, sky mist, dead on. Horizon blue, dead on. Caledon, dead on. Uh, surf green, this is a little bit darker on the whole bane side, but I'm quite sure if you put more layers on this, you could get it up to that. Uh, mint green, same thing. This is a little bit lighter than this, but if you added more layers, you could probably bring it up to this. And same with the misty green. Misty green is the same color, just needs a little bit more work to get to this color. Uh, opal green, same thing. Same color, just needs a little bit more work to get to this color. Willow green, same thing. Uh, luminous yellow uh, is the fluorescent. Uh, this, So these two here are the two of the fluorescents and I was trying to you know compare them but they're not going to be the same because they're a fluorescent and they're not the same so um, this one here I would say by looking at my chart that that would be chartreuse and there's the chartreuse there so I'm pretty sure that's almost dead on for chartreuse um, that one there I would say Uh, is really close to leaf green. This one here is olive yellow. This one here is mustard. That one is cool gray number... No, it might be warm gray number two. And that one would be cool gray number two. So other than that, um, you know, other than the the colors that are in here that uh, w you won't find in the um, Holbein's pastel set, like the grays, the two light grays. I'm not absolutely positive of that because I didn't buy just the Holbein um, pastel set. I'm just going by what they said 
was the pastel set that was at the end of my box. So just by going on what was at the end of my box and what they said was in the pastel set on my box, that's what we're going with. But these colors here I can match up to the whole bang colors almost exactly. So um, as far as I'm concerned, if I had to, you know, hold off on the Holbeins and still really wanted the Holbein colors in the pastel set, this is a perfect, perfect match. Um, yeah, if, if you just add a couple more layers to some of these ones that are a little bit lighter, other than that, the color itself is a perfect match. So we're going to color with them and see how they do on paper other than just cardstock. So we're going to, of course, color the World of Wonders by Joanna Basford. And we have our wonderful little food page here. I'm just going to tip you forward here a bit. Let's see. Let's move you up. Let's move you up. Oh, the wrong way moving you down there we go and we'll move you over so you center of the screen so we're going to color this wonderful wonderful Sunday and we're going to use the the Astra pastel pencils and I think we're going to start with a nice mint color here let's of course look at our chart might help. So we want this one which is I have to count because I didn't number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine in. So there's this one here. So this one here is a nice little minty green and that's what we're going to color with. Get you in the center of the stream. And I think we're going to color this bit of ice cream with it. Now the chocolate drips, we might have to wait and color with something else, but And it's a very, very soft green color. So definitely will work great for our highlights. Work great for um, coloring pastel things such as um, uh, da -da -da -da, macarons, things like that. Baby rooms, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. This is going to be one funky looking Sunday, I'm telling you. Actually, I could probably do that in cherry too. Make cherry drips. Bits of cherry or strawberry jam. Alright, now we're going to get a darker color here. And I think it's this one, yeah. This is cobalt green out in the Holbein. I'm just going to put some shadowy kind of color in there. I know this is probably really hard for you guys to see because my camera does not like picking up on light colors. But they go down quite nicely. And they cover really well. Now I'm going to go in here and I think I'm going to... Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to color this one here. My dog is snoring on the couch. <laughs> I think it's past nap time. She says, Mommy, you've been recording all day. Okay, now we're going to go with a bit of a brighter green. This is lettuce green. I'm just going to go into that. And like I said, these are a bit harder than the whole bean, so I would not put this much pressure on the whole bean. So they do take a little tiny bit more work to get the color out of them, but they are still pretty good. Like that's that's really nice. And of course you'll see it better on the other camera. So let's do a little bit of creamy colors. We're going to use Naples yellow first. going to use cream get those all colored out there are a few colors, um, even in the Holbein pastel set, that I personally um, don't, I haven't even used once. So there will be some colors in here that you don't find that you use. And of course, there will be a lot of colors in here that you will find that you use for... Um, highlights and that sort of thing. I have all of my Holbein um, pastels mixed into my other color sets, like uh, into my other colors, so that uh, when I'm coloring I just instinctively grab the uh, lighter colors for my highlights and whatnot and they're right there with the other colors so I know which ones to grab. I don't have to go searching the back of the of the pencil bag for them. I'm just adding a bit of yellow custard here or cream custard. Alright, and then we're going to add a bit of pink This one here is Cosmos, I do believe. And I will post my swatch sheet in the Facebook group. So if you decide that uh, you want to purchase these, I will post the ones with um, the whole banes against it so that you can choose um, between the two, like put your, your numbers and your names on them. I don't have the numbers on mine um, because I, I just refer to them by name. So, of course, when I grab a pencil, I will state the number on it. 
but on my swatch sheet because it wasn't very the little squares aren't very big I didn't put the, the numbers on it okay so I'm using the lighter pink now and this is uh, rose pink or pink no this is rose pink And I'm going to do that same thing down here. And I should have actually, yeah, actually I'm going to erase that if I can find my eraser. And they erase very nicely. <laughs> they erase really well. I'm going to actually do that in custard like this one. And then I'll do the rose pink underneath. And we can do those little dots as uh, something else. I'm not sure. So I'm going to take this one and this one. And we're going to do the custard. The yellow creamy custard. In here. And they, they just lay down so nice. And of course, you know, the more layers you put, the, the darker the color is going to get, the brighter the color is going to get. So you can, of course, change that lightness with layers or hand pressure, whatever you want to use. I'm using hand pressure because yeah, I don't want to sit here all day layering. Now I do have another video that I'm going to be putting out today as well that I haven't done yet. I was hoping to get some more information from Faber-Castell but I will uh, still pursue that and probably end up doing a update video because somebody mentioned something to me that's really interesting. And of course I will get into that during that video. <laughs> I'm just teasing you now. There we go. So we've got the yellow in there. So we'll make sure we put them back in there the same way we pulled them out so that when I do what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take a long label with the color names and numbers from the Holbanes and I'm just going to put it right on the pencil so that uh, I'll know what what they are and what they match up to so that I can put them in order in my bag Like I said, I'm just putting a little bit more pressure on them just to get that brighter color quicker. But if you layer them, of course, it's not going to kill the tooth of your paper. So, All right, so we're going to put those ones back and we're going to find a cherry pink, uh, cherry blossom, which is down here, uh, right here. And then we're going to grab this one as well, which is fuchsia. No. Nope. Yeah, this one's fuchsia. And we're going to do our light area with the cherry blossom. Then we're going to take the fuchsia, and it's going to be a nice pink cherry. Goodness, Shella. Now I'm not going to use a different color 
for the shadow. I'm just going to go a little bit harder in my hand. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to take this lovely, lovely rose gray and we're going to do this topping. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be rose gray. <laughs> And a little bit of this mauve, just to give it a little bit of color. So you can kind of make it into a looking like a jammy type of cream substance. are really nice. And like I said, they are um, color wise almost identical to those ever loving whole beans. And for the price of them, like I said, I bought them on eBay um, from Poland. They did arrive from Poland. Um, and they were seventeen, eighteen dollars basically uh, for the pencils themselves. However, the shipping was sixteen ninety seven. So it cost almost as much to do the shipping as it did to buy the pencils, which uh, kind of worth it <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, so we're going to use uh, coral and apricot for these little balls down here. And the ones on the edge here we're going to do in coral because it's a bit darker. And this one we'll do half in coral. and any of the bottom areas or top areas that are covered up by that cream. Just around the edges of everything else. Okay, and then we're going to take the apricot and we're just going to gently and lightly fill that in. Now the lighter colors are or orangier, yellowy, more yellow colors um, seem to be a little bit softer than say a green. So of course judge wisely on what pressure you're putting down. And I'm going to do the straws, this orange. put the 
those back. And I think we're going to do a little bit of chartreuse on these straws too. Then we're going to take this green that they have in there that I would say is probably uh, which one did I say it was probably <laughs> um, leaf green so yeah it's about the right color for the stem I know it should be a brownish color but we're going to color it green and then we're going to take some blues so let's grab um, porcelain blue which is this one I do believe and ice green maybe yeah and yeah so this is porcelain blue and I'm just doing the outer edges of it and I'm going on the outside of the of the line there so that uh, it looks like it's the glass that's coming down I'm going to do the same thing on this side and give that glass an outer edge and in the shadow areas and then we'll go over it with the ice blue and I think a little bit of this one which I think is the small blue. And a little bit more of the ice blue. And just a touch. And there we go. And that is our wonderful Astra pastel colored Sunday. We're going to switch you on over to the other camera so you can have a better look because that camera doesn't show as bright. So there we are. And as you can tell, comparative to, say, these ones here that are, are quite a few pastel -y colors in there as well, it holds up pretty good. Let's see if I can move you just a touch closer without completely messing up the whole thing. There we go. There's your up close and personal. So I think it did very, very nicely. Um, the pastel colors are still bright and vibrant. They're a beautiful um, comparison to the whole beams. And, you know, like I said, they're almost an identical match in colors to the whole bane chart. And I will go through and I will finish off the chart and, and mark those ones that are... Um, 
not marked like the chartreuse, the leaf green, the mustard yellow, the olive yellow, and the two grays. I will go through and I will mark those so that uh, you can have a better uh, color chart for them. Once again, I got these off of eBay. I will list the eBay seller that sold them to me. Uh, they did take a little while to get here, but they did arrive in perfect condition. I didn't have any problems sharpening them whatsoever. And uh, yeah, for a 50 set of pastel pencils, for under $20 purchase price and then shipping and handling on top of that, it brings it up to about $35. In comparison to the Holbein's uh, one, um, 50 color set, which is over $100. So I think I will have to take a look. Let's, let's take a look. So let's look at dickblicks.com and take a look at the Holbein oh, they've got drawing supplies on sale <laughs> let's look at the Holbeins where are you I know you're in here now to find them so the Holbein Pastels. Let's see. Uh, so the uh, 150 set, or for the 50 set, is $158.40. So for the pastel set, is $158.40 on sale. And they are currently out of stock and they won't be back in stock until the 17th. So, yeah, $158.40 or $35. Nah. Sounds like, um, sounds like something that uh, might be, oh, I'm just looking at the list here. So, mine was not set up the right way because Worm Gray 2 and is Cool Gray in there? Worm Gray 2 is in the pastel set. Just looking to see if Cool Gray is in there as well. Sea Fog. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it. But it does have warm gray too in there. And chartreuse green is also in there. So there's some green, some colors that um, are in the, yeah, leaf greens in there too. Okay. So the way that my set was set up is uh, not the way that these um, 50 sets are set up. Uh, all of yellow is in there too. Yeah, so it is identical. It's the exact same set, exact same colors as the Holbein pastel color set. Just going through all the color numbers and names here and it's it's an identical. It's an identical set. So you're not going to, you're definitely going to save a lot of money. You're not going to lose any colors. Um, you're not going to, you know, gain any colors or, or lose any colors. So my set is a little off because I bought the 150 set and the fluorescent colors were in the pastel uh, section at the back of the color box of pencils. So just by looking at the color list on Blix, the Astra colored pencils has exactly um, so all of these colors are exactly the same 
in the whole band set. So all of the ones that I was able to match up here are in fact the same colors that are in your pastel color set in the whole veins. So that is pretty cool. All right, guys, that is my review of these. Um, they did a beautiful job on the coloring. They are smooth, they are soft. They're not as soft as the whole veins. Would I compare them to the whole veins? Heck yeah. Um, they are almost color for color identical. They may need a little bit of work on some of the softer colors, um, like some of the darker mixed colors. They're a little bit lighter, but not enough that you're going to notice. And if you just add a couple more layers, you will probably have the exact same color. I don't think there's any difference myself. And I will list them. Um, I will put them all, I'll finish listing these ones and uh, put this list on Facebook, in the Facebook group, I'll upload the picture. So if you want to buy these pencils and need a color chart, uh, it will be there for you. Alright guys, of course remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the like button so I know that you enjoy the videos um, and I know to put out more of them. Uh, <laughs> if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, soon it will, um, as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers, it's supposed to activate it's something called a community tab where I can leave you guys messages and pictures and stuff like that and of course I will be uploading all of the wonderful things my husband has printed me and given me permission to sell to raise funds for the channel so I'll be uploading that into the community page for those that are not on Facebook. For those of you that are in Facebook right now, you already have access to that page. There is an album in our Facebook group that houses all the pictures and sales prices and everything else for the wonderful things my husband creates. Other than that, guys, remember to relax, color, and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a fantastic day. And I do have one more video coming up. Alright guys, bye bye for now.